Okay, so today I've got a new tutorial for you. Um, this is how to downgrade your PSP um, if it is on firmware 6.60 um, without a Pandora battery. It can be a complicated process, so you need to watch carefully. Otherwise, it, I'm not going to say it would break, but this chance is, you know, messing around with firmware and stuff on a PSP can be quite risky if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to make this as simple and straightforward as I can. Um, so I hope this works out for you. If anything does happen, you've done it at your own risk. So yeah, okay, let's get started. So here we have this folder um, of different things that we're going to use to um, accomplish this. So I'll put this in a zip file and the link in the description. Okay, so let's start. First thing I've done is um, I've put the PSP into USB mode, and it's here. So. What we're going to want to do is just open that up. Okay, so first thing, we want to put the downgrader in there. So, yeah, okay, go in PSP, game, and drag that over into there. Then you'll need to put the firmware, which is here make a new folder in the game directory of the PSP and just put it in capitals update okay so once you've done that you'll get an eboot in the firmware folder this is a 620 firmware so I'm downgrading to so you'll get an eboot file drag that into the new folder you just made okay now I'm going to go onto the PSP through my other camera and um, show you what to do for the process for there. You do um, need the PSP to be a reasonable charge battery. I think it's over 50 or 75 percent. Otherwise, it won't attempt to do it. So you need to make sure your PSP is charged up before you try to do this. Okay, so let's go over now and do that. Yeah. Okay. So once you um, you put the stuff on memory so like I just showed you, you want to go into game then in the memory card section go there. And you want to go down to this you can't see what it says here but it says 620 so we're gonna press X I'm just gonna come up with some warnings and stuff so just press X again um, and I'm gonna stop it here to let it do it itself, it's just going to install and restart so do that and then I'll come back to you yeah I don't think you can really see that but it says um, the update is complete so just press enter to restart the PSP so let's do that That looks nice. <laughs> yeah, so um, it finished installing and then it restarted. And as you can see, uh, 620. So, you can't really see that burst, but it says anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I hope this helped. If you would like to learn how to install custom firmware, then visit the. Um, the next video I'll put an annotation on this one please subscribe if this has been useful um, yeah okay cheers for watching guys bye
Yeah, so um, it finished installing and then it restarted, and as you can see, uh, 620. So, you can't really see that, but that's what it says anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I hope this helped. If you would like to learn how to install custom firmware, then visit the, um, the next video. I'll put an annotation on this one. Please subscribe if this has been useful. Um, yeah, okay. Cheers for watching, guys. Bye.